Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the iPhone 4 and how it holds up yeah, in 2018. That was so funny. Who's, who said that? Dude, was that you again? Seriously? I just wanted to be in the video. No, dude, you literally cannot do that. That is disrespectful. Like, you can't just interrupt a video like that. People came here to watch a video. You can't just do that, dude. I literally kicked you out. Please leave. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. This guy, I don't even know what's going on with him. But we're going to be talking about the iPhone 4 and how it holds up in 2018. And you would actually be surprised by how, like, premium this phone still feels. Like, when I'm holding it, I'm, like, even compared to, like, my iPhone SE, I think this feels more premium just because there's glass on the back and obviously on the front as well. It just feels so... And the buttons are super tactile. Apple really knocked it out of the part concerning just the body and build quality with this. Now on the front you have a 3.5 inch screen, volume buttons on the left side, ringer switch still there, power button, headphone jack, it still keeps the headphone jack but it's in like the worst location ever like the top part is just so weird. And on the bottom you have the OG charging port. This was like the Madonna of charging ports. You like literally I'm so glad they switched to uh, the lightning ports they have now and don't get it twisted but this is the only speaker down here. This is not a speaker I just checked which was kind of weird because I was hoping they both were speakers but I guess not. And honestly back in the day I could not afford an iPhone 4 4. This was back in high school, but like all my friends had iPhone 4s and I was so jealous because I was like, dude, like I can't afford it. So why you guys got to go like flex in front of my faces? Back then the iPhone 3G was a thing. So this front camera right here was like brand new for the iPhone. So they would like take selfies and stuff like that. It wasn't called selfies back then, but dude, I was like, dude, I was like, I felt really left out at that point. And I don't know why I told you guys that that's more of a personal thing, but I just figured I would tell you guys that. Now turning on the phone, you have iOS 7.1.2, which honestly kind of resembles iOS 11 and iOS 10 in a way, but you can just tell how like glitchy it kind of is. I mean, obviously it's going to be glitchy. This phone is like almost eight years old, so it's going to be a little slower, but I'm just surprised by how, you know, like laggy the whole OS is. And I'm not really like going to bash Apple that much. This is an old phone. It's just like every single thing I do, even just going into like the internet browser, like going to soundcloud.com slash simple alpaca to listen to some of my own music. It's just kind of weird how like, you know, glitchy everything is. So here, even if I'm just scrolling through, you can see it's not the worst experience ever, but it's definitely not that good. So here's a song that I just made. Uh, you can listen to it. So this is the only speaker down here. This is not a speaker. That's a pretty good song, isn't it? Concerning the overall performance, like I said, it's just glitchy and stuff. And I have noticed that even lighter tasks, such as like opening the app, the app store, takes like super long and even just getting into multitasking and like multi like honestly getting into multitasking isn't that big of a deal but when you start getting into like let's say i just want to get into settings sometimes you see how it just restarted and took me back there there's really not that much ram in here so like apps close in the background like crazy and another thing i've noticed is like let's say i go back into safari and i go up here even just clicking around like on the keyboard it, it looks a little bit faster on camera i'm not gonna lie but in real life, like it's super slow. And gaming is also like a solid, like four and a half out of 10, probably like a three and a half out of 10, to be honest. Load times are super long. And once the game is loaded, you can see I'm trying to move assistive touch and it's taking a couple seconds to register. And even sometimes downloading a game takes a little bit longer if you can even get it downloaded. Sometimes I'll go to download a game and like you, it's not even supported. And the ones sometimes that are supported don't even get downloaded. So it's super weird. It's like a paradox of just like such weird stuff. I don't even get it. And you can see we're still loading for it, so I'm just gonna hop out of here. I'm just gonna play some Doodle Jump because like that game's a banger. And simple games like this work fairly well. You can see like it could, this isn't that heavy of a game. It's literally like some like Doodle thing, like going back, uh, jumping up in like little platforms. So obviously this is going to be fine. But like I said, when you start getting into like the heavier intensive stuff, even like minorly heavy into like Fruit Ninja, this thing does not do well with Fruit Ninja. And the vibration in this thing is super huge. I don't understand what Apple put in. I think they put like a vibration of a freaking car starting for like 40 miles per hour. They like took that vibration and put it. In this phone because it's super super loud which brings me into my next topic not really but it's the cameras and honestly if you're taking cameras on this thing that probably means you don't have any other camera in sight because i would not depend on this camera at all there's a five megapixel camera on the back like just right there one little flash thing and i would i mean here's some photos i took of it a long time ago i think like last year i took these and on outdoor shots it doesn't look that bad as you can see like it's not horrible by any means, but it's just like kind of glossy. It seems like there's something over like, you know, like a little glossiness over these photos. That's one thing I've noticed. This is a wallpaper I actually made. Actually, the wallpaper on here is one that I made. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, I think it's fenwa.com slash wallpapers. I haven't made one in forever, but if you guys want me to make another one, I'll go ahead and do it. And the front camera is, I mean, it's, it's a front camera. Back in the day, you know, this was like the very first, one of the very first iPhones to have a front camera. It's okay. It'll get the job done, but I wouldn't depend on anything other. 
personally, if I had this as a phone right now, I would have to bring my DSLR with me everywhere I go in order to take photos because I would not want to take photos on this thing because, you know, photos are memories. And everywhere I go, like, I try to take as many photos as I can. And it's kind of different when, like, you know, you're trying to have a phone like this and when the camera quality isn't that great. I'm, I'm not bashing on Apple. Like, it, it was good back in the day. It's not good anymore. That's the best way I can put it. And battery life is also somewhat of a strange topic because, like, because the battery in this thing is kind of small. And once you're using the phone, the battery will die fairly fast. And it's an old phone, so it's deteriorated. But the standby time is actually fairly decent. On my iPhone 5 and my iPhone 5S, the battery life is okay when you're using it but once the standby gets you know once you put it away it starts like draining like crazy but on the iphone 4 i'm surprised by how like decent it is now compared to my iphone 7 plus or even my iphone 6 or 6s it's not good at all but i think the battery in this phone is probably one of the greatest aspects now different people have different stories so i'm sure if you know somebody who had an iPhone 4 or something like that, it's probably not as good battery life. But on iOS 7.1.2 or whatever I have this on, it's really not that bad. Now, should you go out and buy an iPhone 4 in 2018? Now, this is a very strict answer, and I want you guys to take this completely as it is. Do not take it with a grain of salt. This is 100% what you do. Do not buy an iPhone 4 in 2018. Not only because of the speed thing, the performance, the cameras, everything, it's the security, okay? This phone is very behind in updates. I think the iPhone 4S got like iOS 9.3 something. This one's up to like iOS 7. I think iOS 8 is the highest it got. All right, there's a plane coming through. I don't know if it's gonna affect the mic, but there's a time and a place when you should buy an older phone. You should not be going this far back. The security is the number one concern, especially with all this meltdown and Spectra and all these other, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a way to hack into this and access your actual phone without knowing the passcode on iOS 7.1.2. So that's why I kind of, you know, do not get this phone at all. Even if you're three years old or five years old or whatever, just, just stay away from this phone. If you have to, get an iPhone SE if you want to retain a smaller size or if you want to jump up size a little bit, get an iPhone 6S minimum. Of course, the iPhone 6S is not the best phone, get an iPhone 7 or 8, but if you want to stay at the bare minimum and spend the least amount of money, get an iPhone 6S or an iPhone SE. And that's where I'm gonna leave it at, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Comment down if you guys have any questions or anything. If you guys think differently of me, maybe you should get it. Leave it down, I love to hear it, guys. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.